Hey guys, PR is at home. Today is a doozy. We've got three different scoring opportunities. So I've got a whiteboard here. I'm gonna explain it on the whiteboard. Um, we've got, like I said, three parts. We're gonna start off with round one is a three minute AMRAP. We're gonna have a one minute rest in between or after the three minutes. Then we're gonna go into a two, round two is a six minute AMRAP with two minute rest afterwards. And then we're gonna go for time. Now, the way this workout will work is you have essentially three minutes to do as much work and get as many reps as possible. Say we get through the 25 goblet squats, three minutes is up, that's your score for round one. For round two, for six minutes, we're gonna begin at the top again. So we take it back to the top, and we're gonna go through, and let's say we get through the, uh, the swings, whether we're using a can sandbag or a kettlebell or a dumbbell. Um, that's your score. Rest two minutes, and then we're gonna do the last time, last round for time. So remember, as we go through this, we're gonna be stopping at three, starting again at four, stopping at a, a, a 10, beginning at 12, and then ending when you're done. So a couple things I wanna talk about on this workout is the uh, goblet squats. Whether we're using a dumbbell or a kettlebell, Let's just keep it in close. Elbows are in close, knees are driving out. Make sure we're hitting that full range of motion. Sandbag. We're gonna hold on to that sandbag, essentially however we want. We can go to a zercher squat. We can go into a unilateral. Let's just keep it on the front side of our body, not put it on our back. Um, the other one we wanna walk, talk about is our sandbag swing. So if you don't have a kettlebell, this is our sandbag swing. We're gonna start at the top, begin a little pre-swing, Make sure you're not dragging it on the ground, but we're focusing on hinging over, hinge, extend. If you don't have a kettlebell or you don't have a sandbag available and you've been using a dumbbell, we're gonna do the same thing. We can hold on to a two hand, swing it through. If you wanna get real crazy, we can hang on to the end. Just make sure that your grip doesn't let go and don't throw it away. Um, the other option is double taps if you don't have a jump rope. We're looking for the double tap, which we've been using in the past workouts. 